a few nights ago. So this was the, one of the higher reports, 86 mile per hour winds reported uh, just about three miles east of Omigo. So that was 1045 p.m., two miles west of uh, Bellevue. So there would have been a lot of people on Highway 24 heading, uh, heading out from that uh, big Omigo fireworks display, likely driving through those extreme winds at 1045 p.m. last night. Manhattan, the winds were gusting 66. Denison, four miles north of Denison, 88 mile per hour winds. That was 1101 p.m. last night. Corning was 70 miles per hour. Havensville, 73. Auburn, uh, four miles north of town officially, really the southwest side of Topeka near a Lake Sherwood community. We had a 80 mile per hour winds reported last night. That was at 11.15 p.m. Uh, down to the south, Admire at 72. And then one of the later reports we have a 67 mile per hour winds near Hartford before the winds got into the Burlington area well after midnight. We also saw half a foot of rain uh, just to the north of Council Grove, uh, near Council Grove Lake. We had flash flooding uh, last night. There was a storm sitting there from 7 p.m. until 9 p.m., almost stationary before the overall line overtook this. But this bullseye of red showing up on the uh, Doppler radar estimates uh, shows at five to six inches of rain. That's more than we would typically see the entire month of July. Only five days in, you've already seen uh, 30 to 40 days worth of rain already but not seeing evenly distributed rain by any means across parts of Topeka. Some of those areas of uh, light blue and light green represent less than two tenths of an inch of rain uh, down to areas like uh, uh, Burlingame and uh, over Scranton and Overbrook, certainly not seeing as much rain. A bullseye of higher numbers near Redding last night, close to five or six inches of rain uh, as well. So right now we're seeing isolated showers, nothing heavy, no severe weather, uh, barely enough to even bother with the umbrella sprinkles near Rossville. Again, not much out of that and looking in closer from our uh, live camera at 78th and Davis Road. Some of these uh, gravel roads are uh, certainly very muddy today after seeing the storms and severe weather uh, last night. And as we look at the uh, conditions now 80 in Topeka conditions uh, still fairly humid right now. The humidity a bit lower tomorrow with high temperatures very similar. So what we had today, but dew points will be lower. Live look from the Emporia Cam at 77 degrees there in Lyon County. That number officially from the airport just south of town. And temperatures ranging from mid 70s in Marysville. A very comfortable day with 85 in Melbourne and Burlington as well. Through this evening, we're dry uh, for the most part. An isolated sprinkle of showers possible, nothing heavy. Temperatures falling in the low 70s by midnight. And again, Supercast still picking up these isolated rain showers. By far, most of us won't see any rain at all, but where we do see any sprinkles or light showers tonight should be uh, very light. I don't expect to see any sort of measurable rainfall the rest of tonight. And then tomorrow's a nice day with high temperatures in the lower to mid 80s. The humidity will be lower and your first alert eight day forecast doesn't keep us dry for long as uh, very heavy rain moves back in. There's the weather room eight day outlook. The uh, temperatures in the low 80s tomorrow. Scattered storms on Friday could be heavy. I expect to see most of us picking up an inch or more of rain on Friday to Saturday. Sunday's the better day of the weekend. But amazingly, you said that uh, they had six inches last night around Council Grove, I think it was. Wow. Yeah, and a lot wow. of that fell in just two hours. Yeah. So okay. they had flash flooding there. Absolutely.